King of heaven, the glorious King. O'er death today rose triumphing. Alleluia. Alleluia. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and our risen Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we continue to celebrate the joy of the risen Lord, more and more we realize how God is calling us to be his witnesses, to share that good news that Jesus is alive, especially at this time. When our lives are so changed, when there is so much challenge and difficulty around us, we put our total trust in the risen Lord and in His gifts that He shares with us. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven after what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call, he testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourself from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Alleluia, alleluia. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope in his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Alleluia, alleluia. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our health and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Roboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Notice, as we progress through this Easter season, and we're quite honestly just in the beginning stages of it, that the focus is not just on Jesus rising from the dead, but how this impacts and calls us to live new lives with him. So today, although again, it's a, another um, manifestation of the risen Lord, it's really about Mary Magdalene and her response and how God was calling and using her. And same with us, it's not just looking what happened with Jesus, it's how it's impacting our lives. So just a couple really brief reflections, maybe personal reflections, on this Gospel uh, passage today from St. John. The first is this, I find it no accident. As a matter of fact, I think it's really a beautiful message that in John's Gospel, Jesus first appeared to a woman and called her to be the Apostle to the Apostles, to be the one who first experienced his risen presence and announced it to others. It just reaffirms the importance of women in the Church. The second is this, that understandably, 
Mary Magdalene was filled with grief. She was weeping. Perhaps we would envision that as she was very downcast, as we oftentimes are amidst the difficulties and darkness of our lives. And when we are downcast, we oftentimes don't look up and see what might be right in front of us. So basically what Jesus asked her to do was look up. And he did that by calling her name, Mary. She knew that voice. She knew what that felt like to hear her name called by the Lord because she had that kind of a relationship with him. And maybe that's the second reflection is, do we recognize his voice, especially when he calls us by name? Because as he knew and loved Mary Magdalene very well, he knows and loves each of us very well. But if we're not in tune to that voice, we could miss it. And it could make all the difference in the world to lift us up from being so downcast and not seeing what might be in front of us to people who look up and see it is the Lord. And so, and then finally, it was the call of Mary Magdalene. Go and tell my brothers, go and tell everyone, I have seen the Lord. Perhaps that was risky because for most people, the Lord was dead. Sometimes in our world, I think people have come to that conclusion, the Lord is dead. Where is our God? We have to be the ones to announce to them, not only in words, but with our lives, with a sense of joy, with a sense of hope. I have seen the Lord. He is alive. That's what brings light and hope to our darkened world. And as we are sent to be as witnesses, we know that God will give us all that we need and take care of the people we love. So we pray for the church, for our Holy Father, for the church that is our diocese, for the church that is our parish, that we may be bold and convincing in sharing the good news that Jesus is alive, especially to those who are downcast and living in darkness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for so many people who bring that light to us families, people who by the manner of their lives are such bold witnesses of the truth of the gospel and oftentimes unexpected ways that Jesus, is, Jesus calls our name and calls us to look up and to see that he is with us now, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for listening and understanding hearts and an ever-growing relationship with the Lord. For us and for our family members and for our whole parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are living in darkness, whose lives are so downcast, certainly the sick and the suffering, all those who are affected by the coronavirus in any way or any type of illness. We pray for the dying. We pray for all caregivers, for all in the medical profession, for all our first responders, that we together may be instruments of God's healing and strength to one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that God would bless and keep safe all of our children and our young adults and our children with special needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all women who serve the church, 
and for an awakening of God's call to all people to share their gifts and to take their rightful place in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And remember all those who have died, all our family members and friends and parishioners. We pray for the deceased members of the Lucans and Oinick families. We pray for Alfred Zapatelli, for John Khalil, and for all our own loved ones, that they may share in the fullness of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And just take a moment to give God whatever is in your heart today. Loving God, we look up to you, we listen to our hearts as you call our names, and we give ourselves to you that we may be faithful witnesses to tell the world the good news that you are alive. So listen to our hearts, listen to our prayers, give us what we need, and use us for your service through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. For the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be pleasing and acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all who serve your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United as God's family, the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My friends, may the peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share with each other a sign of our peace and unity in Christ. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We have been told, we've seen his face and heard his voice alive in our hearts. Live in my love with all your heart. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, that as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks again for continuing to join us and to be witnesses of the risen Lord for others. Now take some time today to listen, for the Lord is calling you by name. Look up and see the glory of the risen Lord and the hope that he brings and share that with others. I just want to tell you that Father David and Father Joe are doing just fine. I know people miss them here, but they're just taking a couple days off and they'll be back soon, but they're doing just fine. And certainly all of us on our pastoral staff continue to pray for you and thank God for you and ask God to bless and protect you and look forward to that day when we can be together again. So let us continue to celebrate the joy of the risen Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is risen today. Amen.